beverage choice is too much coffee. Coffee depletes us of minerals. Mm -hmm. And minerals are very critical for <laughs> immunity. Uh, minerals would include, let's say, zinc, magnesium, calcium, selenium, which is a major anti-cancer antioxidant. Um, so those are the types of things that would impact our But meal. it doesn't matter if the coffee is decaf or... Good question. Does it matter if the coffee is decaf? No, it does not. Coffee itself is a very acidic beverage. <coughs> okay, so it actually will uh, deplete you of calcium. Okay, and that's really important. And calcium acts as a buffer as because it, it really helps to balance out pH in the body. So that's very, very important. Okay. So ideally switch over to green tea because the antioxidants in green tea have a lot of benefit. Very important though that the green tea is organic because they spray tea very heavily in Asia. Okay, so whether you get it from China or Japan, I mean I usually prefer people to get their green tea from Japan because the soil, the quality of the soil and the environment is a lot cleaner than what it is in China. So that's a very important consideration too. Okay, um, other beverages of course, soda. Okay, um, anything that's highly carbonated depletes us of minerals. Okay, so the carbonation, unfortunately, whether it's seltzer or club soda, you know, diet, which brings me to the uh, handout I have on aspartame, by the way, which is another name for equal that's in diet sodas, and that's the other handout that you have right behind the um, handout on the food chart, on the organic food chart. But aspartame reactions, but more importantly, I mean, you can take a look at the list. I mean, it's an unbelievable list um, on some of the side effects that aspartame can cause. And you know, the most unfortunate thing about it is that people don't make a connection, you know, with the aspartame and then the reaction that they may be having. Okay. So somebody could have an itching problem or a hive problem and not hives, you know, not even know that it's coming from the soda that they're drinking. So that's, but just gives you a list of things that have already been shown through research, okay? And the other thing that's very scary... Why is that still available? I know, good question, why is it still available? Like, everything that's that a question does. we all ask. You buy it. I know. The people who make it don't drink it. <laughs> that's why. The people who make it don't drink it. Okay. But if you take a look at the bottom, I mean, this is really scary. Aspartame consumption mimics symptoms or may worsen the following diseases. So people who get fibromyalgia, where they get that incredible fatigue and weakness in the muscles mm -hmm. and soft tissues, and then arthritis, MS, oh, okay. I know somebody actually that was told she had MS and then she went on the soda-free diet and her symptoms cleared up within six months. Wow. So, what about the stevia? Stevia. Uh, st stevia or stevia is a very good alternative. That's not, that's not aspartame, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not at all. I, I, just, I just want to tell you that my daughter had a, a, a GI tract thing where they had her drink, um, you know, whatever that stuff. Right. And she was getting sicker and sicker. And she said, there's got to be something in here that's making me sick. And they said, oh, no, it's fine. Finally, we looked at the label. There's aspartame in that stuff that they have you drink mm -hmm. before yeah. that test. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so, so if you're asked to drink something, ask to look at the label. Read the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think this is a really very powerful. Uh, so it's carbonation. So that'll remind you why we shouldn't be drinking <coughs> sodas or anything containing aspartame. And even more important for kids, by the way. I mean, look at how many we've had an increase in ADD, yeah. attention deficit. A lot of that is because the kids are given, you know, diet sodas nowadays. Okay, so that's another whole issue right there, too. All right, super. And then panic disorders and depression, anxiety, I mean, all those, a lot of psychological, by the way, disorders associated with equal and aspartame. Okay, but the key thing is that it definitely interferes with the body's ability to properly do detoxify chemicals and other things from our food. So that's another reason why that's really important that to stay away from that. Is that what okay. the product name is? Equal is aspartame? Yeah. yeah, that's the other name for it is aspartame. Right. Mm -hmm. um, sure. What's in Splenda? What's in Splenda? It's basically hydrolyzed. Uh, it's, they add hydrogen atoms to sugar. That's what it is. And Splenda, they, have, they don't have enough research yet out on it, but one thing we do know about Splenda is that it does slow down metabolism. So if you're trying to lose weight, one of the effects that it has, it will slow down your metabolism. The other thing is it does increase your craving for sugar. Yeah. It does. It increases your craving for sugar. So those are the two things we know for sure about Splenda. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was what trivia. Connie was asking about. Um, stevia. Yeah, Truvia is a new Stevia that's out on the market. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So that's a good alternative as a sweetener. And that comes in packets and it yes, comes, it you does. know, powder, or liquid, however you want to use it. What about uh, T-R-U-V-I-A, Truvia? What about um, Xylitol? Uh, xylitol is a sugar alcohol. One of the side effects of sugar alcohols like xylitol, maltitol, sorbitol, is that it will act as a laxative. I mean, for some people that might be a good thing, and for others it's not. But what about that? Some people get headaches too because it's metabolized through the liver. The one is, uh, is supposed to be natural. Oh, agave syrup, agave, yeah. which yeah. comes from the cactus fruit. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's a low glycemic uh, sweetener. It looks like maple syrup. It's mm -hmm. sort of a liquid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be an acceptable um, alternative, right? Mm -hmm. Or brown rice syrup. Some of you may, you know, have seen mm -hmm. that as well. So those are all, you know, safe. Again, and again, not in excess, though, right? You know, small quantities. Okay, so, um, and then alcohol and beverages, you know, again, not overdoing alcohol, because al alcohol is a very acidic um, beverage, right? So if you're drinking more than three glasses a week, that will affect your pH, your urinary pH. Okay, so that's something to keep also, in mind as well. Also, how can you say that a glass of wine a day is supposed to be good for you? <laughs> Why? It depends on whether you have heart issues or not. If you don't have heart issues, it's not good for you. And also too much of it isn't good for you. The other thing is with wine, make sure that you get organic wines where they don't have added sulfites. Because the sulfites, again, you know, for some people will give them allergies and headaches and, you know. A lot of these things that are preservatives, you know, whether in beverages or food, they really interfere with their body's ability to properly detoxify. And with the increase in cancer, I mean, cancer now is the number two killer in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's, it's really a serious problem. So for that reason, we really have to be careful with a lot of the, you know, you want your body to be able to detox properly on its own. And that's no what sugar, no alcohol, you're killing me. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to survive. I just don't know. Dude, have your fruit, your no fresh fruit. Well, you're no killing me here tonight. <laughs> Um, actually, you know, while we're talking about it, I'm glad you brought up sugar again. Uh, the other thing, by the way, those of you who exercise a lot, if you have flexibility issues, sugar will tighten you beyond belief, okay? So it acts like the glue on the joints. I mean, it really toughens it up. It's almost like car caramelized, you know, when you do any kind of caramelized cooking, where you get that thick syrupy thing, it, it's a sticky substance. Well, it, uh, too much sugar in the diet will make you a lot tighter in, in your joints. You do, it does affect flexibility. Okay, so that's a whole other issue for those of you who are into exercising and, and that kind of thing. So that becomes another issue too. It's called glycation. That's the scientific term for that. Mm -hmm. And glycation is what <coughs> ages people. You know, you're more, you age your cells. The cells of your body actually age the more sugar you take in. Okay, so that's, a whole, that's another thing too. All right, super. And then vitamin and mineral depletion. You know, this is very important, you know, the, you know, why do some people get the flu or they get pneumonia, bronchitis, you know, and I know people sometimes get it two, three times a year. Um, a lot of that, again, has to do with your basic foundation in terms of your own immunity. So one of the things we do know is that if you're deficient in, in you know, more than one mineral, you're going to be at a higher risk for picking up a bacterial infection or even a viral infection. So, you know, the idea of taking a multi, if you're not a good eater, the multi becomes very important.